All right, welcome back everyone. Here's a live look outside over Beach Island where we actually have some sunnier skies right now. Just a little bit hazy out there. Temperature wise in Augusta so far, we made it up to the upper 80s right at 89 degrees. But when you factor in the humidity that's out there, it feels more like 91 degrees. So feeling more and more like summer force. Here we are in the middle of June, finally actually feeling like it after a very cool May and the cool first part of the month of June. We have one thunderstorm in our southern counties right now just outside of Swainsboro. And this is actually going to be making its way close closer to Twin City, so you might hear some thunder out there right now. You're going to get some good heavy rainfall in the next 20 minutes or so, so be prepared for that. But the good news is everyone else and even in Emanuel County will start to dry things out as we go through this evening. Closer to 7 o'clock, we're still going to be into the 80s, falling back to the upper 70s by 9, and then starting to clear out those skies slowly, but still staying mild into the mid 70s expected there. 11 o'clock, 75 degrees. By tomorrow morning, those temperatures are falling back to the mid upper 60s. Mid 70s by about 9 o'clock in the morning should be pretty good conditions to get any golfing done before it warms up all that much. 84 by about midday and then as we go through the afternoon, any pool for uh, plans, the forecast there is expected to be mostly dry. A stray shower storm not going to be ruled out, but temperatures are going to be able to warm into the lower 90s. So right around 90 to 91 degrees for us here in Augusta. Here's the forecast for tomorrow afternoon. We'll start the morning off dry, but then a few isolated storms not going to be ruled out as they kind of murk their way from the north to the south. South. Temperatures will be into the low 90s, 92, about 91 here in Augusta. Same story as we go through the day on Sunday. Temperatures a little bit warmer, and then we'll see an isolated storm chance there. So temperatures for uh, Sunday afternoon for Father's Day, we'll see that right at 91 degrees and a 20% chance for some afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms. Once we move past a Sunday, the rain chances are really going to start to go up for us, especially Tuesday and Wednesday. 70% chance for some showers and storms. The rain on Monday right now now is starting to trend more towards the afternoon versus an all day thing. And the culprit is going to be this little guy right here. An area of low pressure is going to form as we continue through the end of the weekend and into the first half of next week. That's going to dip the jet stream down a little bit more and then it's become a, uh, going to become separated from the jet stream. And whenever that happens, we get that cutoff low that likes to just meander in one spot before something large enough can come through and push it out of the way. So we're going to be dealing with some good bit of rainfall as we go through Monday night into Tuesday, Tuesday into Wednesday, and then even Wednesday going in through Thursday and Friday talking about some more rainfall out there. Already the Weather Prediction Center has placed a good majority of the CSRA under that slight risk for some flash flooding. This is Monday going through Tuesday and even Tuesday going through Wednesday. We're keeping that slight risk in place for us right now. Both the American and the European models favor us getting above about two inches. There's still a little bit of a difference there. The overall path of that area of low pressure will make Make the difference between getting only two to three inches of rain or three to four inches. So we're going to keep a close eye on that as we go through the next couple of days. Weekend forecast again, mostly dry aside from a stray shower temps in the 90s. Then next week the rain arrives and temps only making it into the upper 70s and low 80s.